Alright, okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, ini adalah uh, explanation for Newton's third law of motion. Okay, so this one from chapter 4. Okay, uh, so Newton's third law state every action force has a reaction force. Okay, so okay, every action force has a reaction force. Okay, that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Okay, so Newton's third law ni menyatakan every time kita apply force, okay, pada mana-mana surface, then you going to have a reaction force and the uh, magnitude is the same, okay, but it's in opposite direction, okay. So, for example, when the student push the wall, push on the wall, it will push back with the same force, okay. Uh, Mudahnya you you try you cari mana mana surface you try tekan angki okay, that surface ataupun wall, right? So dekat tangan you you akan rasa macam uh, apa macam macam ada push back lah macam tu eh macam rasa just sakit sikit kan. So when you apply a more force you akan rasa lebih lebih tekanan on your uh, apa uh, your, on your hand. Okay. So what happen is uh, when you apply force to the wall, so wall will have a reaction force to your hand. Okay, so the magnitude over here will be equal. FAB is equal to FBA, right? But you have a opposite direction. Okay, uh, so that's why you add a negative dekat sini to show that the direction is opposite to each other lah. Okay, alright. So uh, let's say we uh, we have a book placed on a table. Okay, so this one kita letakkan buku. So now you have a uh, force by uh, the book on the table. Okay, so the action force over here. And then you're going to have a reaction force by the table on the book. Okay, so dia mesti berpasangan lah. This that's the other action and also reaction force. Okay. <coughs> so contoh lain, if a car is accelerating forward, okay, it is because the tire is pushing backward. Okay, uh, kalau you perhatikan gerakan tayar tu, dia pusing ke belakang. Okay, on the road. And the road is pushing forward on the tires. Okay, so sentiasa ada partner dia. And the next one, a rocket move forward as a result of push exerted on it by the exhaust gases which the rocket has pushed out. Okay, uh, so macam mana rocket tu boleh naik ke atas? So it, because of the gas uh, exert a force, okay, push downward. Okay, so menyebabkan the apa, rocket tu naik ke atas. Okay, alright. So in all cases, when two bodies interact, the action and reaction force act on a different bodies. Okay, uh, so yang ni bila kita ada uh, dua dua objek, okay, uh, kemudian uh, the action reaction force tu dia akan uh, apa act on uh, the partner lah. Okay, uh, contohnya. Okay, so this one is bagi contoh terus dekat sini. So let's say you ada object A and object B. Okay, kata kalau you push uh, this object. Okay, so you apply as an uh, external force over there. Right, so it means that the object A and object B. So object A akan ada action force to the object B. Okay, and at the same time, object B will apply force to the object A. Okay, uh, so they akan ada action and reaction force lah dekat situ on a different bodies. Okay, so an object lies on uh, this one case number one horizontal surface. So object lies at rest on a flat horizontal surface. So what you're gonna have is normal force. Kita dah berkenalan dengan normal force. Kemudian kita ada weight ke bawah. Okay, maksudnya ob objek tersebut uh, ada uh, weight. Okay, force weight ke bawah. So the reaction force kita ada normal ke atas. Okay, so action weight of an object. And then the reaction adalah surface exerted a force yang kita panggil sebagai normal force ataupun reaction force on the object. Okay, alright. So when we do uh, the equation summation of Fy over here, the object uh, tak bergerak. So we have equals to zero. And then the force that we have N minus mg. Okay, N upward positive and then minus mg because the uh, weight downward over here. So now we have n equals to mg. So over here we can see that the magnitude of n and mg is equal um, in magnitude lah. Okay, but the direction is opposite to each other. Okay, so case number two. An object lies at rest on a rough inclined plane. So dekat sini, uh, bila kita lukiskan free body diagram, so what we're going to have here is normal. Okay, and then you have weight ke bawah. Right. Okay, so in this case, what you have to do, you need to resolve W. 
Okay, let's say this one theta. Theta ni sama dengan inclined plane dekat sini eh. Saya pernah bagi tahu sebelum ni. Alright, so what you're going to have over here, the component y of uh, weight dekat sini, we have equation w, w, uh, y is equals with w cos theta. Okay, alright. So the action uh, uh, force dekat sini, y component of the object, weight is exerted on the inclined surface. And then the reaction, uh, reaction force, surface is exerted a force n on the object. Okay, uh, maksudnya bukan ke semua, kalau tadi kita ada N equals to mg terus, N equals to W. But in this case, hanya komponen Y sahaja. Action force towards uh, the object. Okay, so then you under reaction force daripada surface ke object. Okay, which is N lah dekat sini. Alright. And the last one, okay, case number three, motion on uh, of a lift. Okay, so lift moving upward at uniform velocity. Bila sebut uniform velocity, it means acceleration equals to zero. Okay, uh, so since the lift uh, moving at uniform velocity, so now you have A equals to zero. So summation of Fy equals to zero lah dekat sini. Right, so again, the action reaction force that you have over here is N. Upward and then W downward. So N minus W equals to zero. So N equals to mg. Okay. All right. So this one. So case B, case number 3B, leave moving upward at constant acceleration. Okay. So bila you ada this case, all right. So now daripada equals to zero tadi, now we have summation of Fy equals to ma. Okay, so N minus mg equals to ma. So now you have the action, uh, the reaction force N is equal to it, m uh, times with a plus g. Okay, acceleration of the lift plus with the gravity. So kalau you nampak dekat sini, bila you timbang berat badan you dalam keadaan lift naik ke atas, you will see that your weight is increased lah ha, dekat situ. Okay, so lift moving downward at constant acceleration. So yang ni, uh, bila uh, lift bergerak ke bawah with constant acceleration, so now you have summation of Fy equals to Ma and then we have Mg minus N. So ini yang saya sebutkan untuk mudahkan calculation. Since your direction A downward, so everything force yang ke bawah kita akan letakkan positif. And then, yang oppose the motion, kita akan letak negatif. So, we have mg minus n equals to ma. Right? So, yang ni bila you timbang berat, berat dekat dalam lift, kat dalam keadaan ni, you akan rasa uh, badan you ringan lah. Ha. You, you sendiri boleh-boleh rasa kan, bila naik ke atas tu macam berat je. Bila turun ke bawah tu, uh, rasa macam nak melayang-layang kan? Okay? Uh, so, n equals to mg minus a. Right? Okay, so N is also known as apparent weight and W is the true weight. Okay, uh, so kalau memang you buat calculation W tu, you dapat real weight lah yang sebenarnya. Okay, tapi N dekat sini bila you buat calculation, you akan dapati the equation is mg minus A. So, contohlah you punya acceleration is 2. So, 9.81 minus 2, you akan ada 7.81 times with the mass. So, the apparent weight ataupun N awak dekat sini uh, less than weight awak yang seasal lah W ataupun true weight awak. Okay, so ini yang kita katakan uh, sebagai action and the reaction force. Okay, so untuk uh, Newton's third law ni, kita akan tengok contoh soalan. Okay, uh, example 4.9. Alright, so yang ni kita akan nampak jelas uh, berkenaan dengan uh, Newton's third law lah, action and reaction force. Okay, so two blocks A of mass 10 kg and B mass 30 kg are side by side and in contact with each another. Okay, they are pushed along a smooth floor under the action of a constant force F of magnitude 200 Newton. Okay, so dia bagi dekat sini F equals to 200 Newton. Okay. <coughs> applied to A as shown in figure 4.47. So determine the acceleration of the blocks and then B the force exerted by A on B. Okay so yang pertama ni saya rasa tak ada masalah. Okay untuk cari acceleration of the blocks kita akan anggap A dan B ni sebagai satu sistem. It means <coughs> kita akan tambahkan sahaja mass dia. Alright so we have equation summation of Fx equals to Ma. Okay, summation of Fx equals to Ma. Alright, 
<coughs> so now mass kita ni terdiri daripada objek A and B. Therefore kita akan buat MA plus MB. Right? Kita anggap dia sebagai satu sistem sahaja. And then the applied force yang kita ada dekat sini 200 Newton. Okay and this one. So kita akan terus masukkan sahajalah. Okay tak perlu nak consider any other um, apa ini ada force. Okay, kalau saya boleh lukiskan uh, free body diagram dekat sini, what you gonna have? You akan anggap you hanya ada satu dot sahaja, and then you have normal W, and then you have F capital S uh, F dekat sini ya eh, uh, untuk external force. Alright, sebab di kat sini uh, dia tak ada sebut tentang uh, rough law, eh. dia sebut smooth law, so tak ada friction. So therefore dalam komponen X you only have one force and then you masukkanlah so direction of E is the same as force so force akan jadi positif so now you have the answer acceleration okay yang ni tak ada masalah sangat okay so now next soalan yang seterusnya dia minta uh, force exerted by A on B by A on B okay by A on B so siapa yang rasa dekat sini Uh, yang rasa force exerted by A ni adalah B B yang rasa So kita kena lukis free body diagram untuk uh, both uh, object lah Okay so yang ni untuk objek A So what uh, objek A akan ada Alright bila kita tengok balik gambar dekat sini Okay this one eh So untuk objek A Over here Alamak saya nak warna merah lah Okay Alright, so this one again untuk objek A, you ada normal, you akan ada W, A. Okay. Kemudian you akan nampak force ni, <coughs> dia tolak A. So it means that you gonna have this direction of external force. Okay, alright. So bila force, uh, dia tolak A dekat sini, external force tolak A. So uh, at the same time ada B sebelah dia. Okay, dan B ni kalau boleh tak nak bergerak lah kan. So it means that pada A dia akan ada rasa B tolak dia ke arah sini. So you ada FBA. Force exerted by B on A. Right? So ini adalah free body diagram untuk objek A. Okay. Now objek B. Saya lukiskan di sini. Alright. So now you have a normal force. Kan eh. Normal force. And then you ada WB over here. So pada B. Dia tak tahu apa yang berlaku pada A. So jangan letakkan external force pada B. Sebab B tak tahu pun. Yang B tahu hanyalah dia rasa dia ditolak oleh A. So it means dia ada F A B. Force exerted by A on B. Okay. Ha. Kat sini yang kena berhati-hati. Bila dia tanya tentang action and reaction force. Okay. Dia minta individual force like this. Okay. So you kena lukiskan free body diagram uh, individually. Okay, untuk A, A, kemudian B, untuk B sendiri. Kemudian, uh, you have to make sure that uh, lukiskan force ataupun free body diagram berdasarkan apa yang dia rasa sahaja. Bukan apa yang dia buat. Okay, uh, B exerted force on A. Okay, itu yang dia buat. Tapi apa yang B rasa? B rasa A tolak dia. So, force exerted by A on B. Alright, uh, so ini free body diagram yang kita adalah untuk objek B. Okay, so now bila nak buat calculation daripada free body diagram kita tadi, so this one eh, make sure bila you look at free body diagram, tak nak ada head yang towards uh, dot dekat sini. So, saya uh, letakkan balik. Okay, so normal, weak, so now you ada external force and then you ada FBA. Okay, and we know that the direction of acceleration is to the right. Okay, so based on this free body diagram, so kita dapat F, uh, summation of Fx equals to Ma. Okay, so summation of Fx, saya suka uh, kita start dengan uh, equation asal. Okay, alright. Okay, kemudian kita tak Ma dekat sini because kita nak buat specifically. Okay, uh, kita nak buat A dulu. Alright, so now we have equation. Uh, bila kita tengok free body diagram, so kita ada dua force yang berada dalam X component which is F and FBA. So F ke kanan sama dengan acceleration so positif dan opposite direction adalah FBA so kita ada uh, F minus FBA lah dekat sini. Okay kemudian substitute nilai dan acceleration kita dah buat calculation tadi then you have the uh, equation FBA dekat sini. Okay alright. 
So now, uh, dah dapat dah F, uh, F B A, force exerted by B on A equals to 150 Newton. Okay, so daripada Newton's third law, kita dah tahu dah the magnitude is the same. So F A B is equals with F B A. Alright, so maksudnya tak perlu nak proceed lagi lah. Uh, dah boleh stop dekat sini. Ni dah jawapan awak dah 150 Newton. Alright, cuma dekat sini dia nak menunjukkan lah. Okay, bila kita buat calculation, kita akan dapati nilai kita calculate tu sama. Okay, because F summation of Fx equals to Fab equals to Ma. Okay, so this one. Summation of Fx equals to Mba. Okay, benda yang sama dekat sini. Alright, so dekat sini untuk objek B, force yang dia ada hanyalah tadi kita lukiskan normal, weak and then F uh, A, B over here. So the direction is the same as A, maksudnya F A, B ni positif lah. So let, terus letakkan sini positif, F A, B equals with 30 times 5. Okay, 30 is the mass of B times with the acceleration 5. Now you have F A, B equals to 150 Newton which is equals with this one. Okay, just untuk proofkan uh, apa yang kita sebut ataupun the statement of the Newton's third law tu adalah benar. Uh, okay, so the magnitude is the same. Okay, so untuk soalan nanti dalam exam uh, tak perlulah sampai buat calculation ni bila you dah dapat jawapan. Okay, yang ni hanya untuk proof sahaja kepada awak. Alright, so saya rasa itu sahaja untuk uh, Newton's third law. Nanti kita akan buat latihan eh. Alright, thank you.